welcome back to DXV today where we are celebrating International Women's Day and we have got a full sofa of fabulous women. Yes, joining us now as another guest, we have Rita Mejdi, who is the Vice President of Middle East and Africa, RM Sotheby's. Rita, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you for having me. So I want to know, as the uh, Vice President of the Middle East and Africa RM at Sotheby's, um, you've emphasized the importance of understanding the bigger picture. So I just kind of wanted to know how you have elaborated, uh, if you can elaborate, sorry, on your approach with that vision. Yeah, sure. Um, so if we go back to my career, when I first started in automotive, I was just 28 years old. And I wish I had that advice when I first started. It was to look at the bigger picture and differentiate between what would be a lot of distractions and what would be battles to uh, be fought. And uh, I think to look at the bigger picture is really to understand the in-depth work that each woman is doing every day, not only in creating alliances in the corporate world, in the other industries, but also on the long run, what are we trying to do to diversify this workforce into more women? So again, I work in automotive and we are uh, still far away from what uh, a full and a harmonious equilibrium could be uh, in terms of Formula One racing drivers, in terms of women working in the automotive corporate world. Um, so that that is what I meant when I said to look at the bigger picture because there will be and there still are a lot of distraction on a day to day on a micro level uh, that could be ignored uh, when you only focus on what is important, which is the work we are trying to do here. Exactly, uh, definitely. When you hear the word Sotheby's, you don't necessarily think of automotive. So how did you get started? Very interesting question. Thank you, Maha. Um, we actually uh, started in the Middle East only two years ago. Sotheby's has been established in Dubai for a couple of years and we're lucky enough that they've had to, they, they backed us up with uh, already an existing office. Uh, RM Sotheby's only came to life two years ago when we launched the brand, which is only uh, automotive. So under our umbre umbrella falls uh, car auctions, uh, private sales and sealed bids actually. So it's been only two years. <laughs> So Rita, a bit of a personal question here, answer as you like. When you entered the automotive industry, I imagine that there weren't as many women in that area of work. Was it a moment that you took to be like, oh, I need to kind of be, become one of the boys or was it an opportunity to bring a more female perspective? Thank you so much for asking that. Uh, Dina, this is a crucial question because 20 years ago, 20 years ago, I didn't have the perspectives that I have today, thankfully. And I fully transformed into a man. I fully transformed because the environment was not helping and um, the instances where men would tell you that you're too emotional, um, you should put your emotions aside. And um, those all shaped uh, the, 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 the almost men that I became because I, I said to myself, I need to be part of the boys clan and how do I do that by shoving down all the emotions I had I had to kind of build a shield to not be able to show what I was feeling at that time and this was so wrong on so many levels because uh, years later and thankfully I had amazing mentors men and women have actually pushed me to be more myself and to embrace my femininity and to be able to say what I wanted to say in a very composed and in a very calm dialogue. And I wish that I've had this advice 20 years ago, and this is the most crucial advice that I give to all women and men that are working for me or under me or in my teams or around me, is just to remain yourself. And uh, you don't have to ask for the respect. It's just the work you do will actually show what you're doing, and that's more than enough. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Gita, that's honestly a fascinating experience. Thank you so much for sharing that. I'm sure it was deeply personal for you. I'm a little bit fascinated to know about the first ever auction, which is going to be hosted by RM Sotheby's. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, absolutely. So after months of uh, lots of research, because we wanted to have not only a boutique agency, but a curated one with a diversity of classic cars and more modern cars, 
We, we are launching the first ever auction in Dubai on the 9th of March in Concrete in Al-Sirkal Avenue. And why is it an important milestone for us is because as RM Sotheby's, we're bringing our expertise to an already extremely rich market. The automotive culture is very present in the Middle East. Uh, young, younger people and youth are very interested. And we're very lucky that the leadership in UAE are not only creating, but are still creating platforms to enhance that enthusiasm. And the fact that we're having the first ever car auction meddled with a couple of very iconic watches that have a UAE heritage in them will enable us to not only lead the way because nobody has done it before uh, but also to understand what the market wants and to cater further to that market in a very short term. Well, Hita, wishing you the best of luck with that auction and way to go, paving the way. Thank you, you so much. Do it. We can do everything. <laughs> uh, on that note, we're going to keep you on the couch just for a minute here while Ash going to turn the spotlight over to you for DXB in 60. All right, Maha, are you ready for my questions? Yes, of course. You need to... <laughs> Did that sound a little bit intimidating? I apologize. So you need to answer as many questions as possible within 60 seconds. This is our DXB in 60. Are you ready? Ready. Your time is three two, one, let's go. If you weren't the head of the Women's Pavilion, what would you be doing? Uh, reading the news. <laughs> You're gonna come after our jobs. <laughs> uh, your, your first job? A waitress. Your motto in life and in work? Always believe in yourself. A superpower you wish you had? To be in two places at one time. A book you've been reading? Uh, thousand Splendid Suns, again. Your go-to place in Dubai? A Stakia. Top podcast recommendations? Ooh, that's a good one. Currently listening to Anna Roberts. If you could hang out with someone in the industry for 24 hours, who would it be? <sighs> who would it be? Or any. <laughs> in the industry? I don't know, I'm gonna lose the game. <laughs> it's fine, your time is up, but I'm gonna ask you one last question. Why Dubai? Because it's the best. That's all we needed to know. Ma, thank you so much for your time. And ladies, of course, it's been a pleasure having you on as well. Thank you, this has been a very uh, exciting episode. Yeah. Yes, a very pro-female episode, mm -hmm. obviously celebrating International Women's Day. So thank you to you both for joining us. Now we are going to take a quick break, but coming up shortly, we have a performance by Vonne and we've got some prizes and giveaways. So come back and join us.